that gives them the faith to have their faith in the PLP and its leaders. I don't know if every single one I come up here and speak about it. They both, they all have that faith in both their God, first and foremost, and then in their progressive Liberal Party and their leaders. That's why I can say, people like Kern Yeh, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, because they have that faith and strength in their Lord Jesus Christ. Now what about us? We need, if we want to see Kern again, to have that faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Once, you, once you have that faith, nothing man or woman could do that could hurt you, that could harm you. And Cain was like that. Cain was like that. A woman in her sickness, I would say, recovering, coming here to pay her dues, coming here to her meetings, faithful. Yet we have some who are stronger, who fight more to get where they want to get, but when they get here, they don't come to meetings. That's the example you need. People like Kern. Yes, sir. Our party can miss him. Our party can miss him greatly. Can miss that presence, that sight to the family. I want to tell them. I want to tell them. I give them thanks and praise for allowing Miss Kern to be a part of us the many years she was a part of us. I know it was sacrifice. I know it was a sacrifice. But the heart wasn't a sacrifice. I, you know, she was a wonderful person. Beautiful. Beautiful. Never speak bad or evil about anybody. Anything. She just come and support this party. And I want us to remember two family and other people here. Yeah. To be strong like Kern, like I said, please turn your life to the Lord. Amen. Have your faith in Lord Jesus Christ Lord and His Son. Yes. And criticisms and hatred will yes. come off your shoulders. Drop off your shoulders. Like Family members, God gave us something wonderful called a memory. God gave us a memory. Please. Do not ever forget what Kern lived for, what she taught you all, what she demonstrated to you all in her devotion to her God and to her party. That devotion. Nothing stirred her from those two things. Not only that, just how she gave to the party its dues, but why she did the same for her church. Okay. Miss Clare never missed giving her arms to her church. That's why she did such a beautiful life. God says, I should feel you will receive. We have plenty, family, all have plenty to be proud of. Yes, we all better pass this way. But are we prepared? That when death comes, we can smile at death. But yes. remember now, to get to heaven, we have to pass through death. Yes, yes, yes. But to get to heaven, you got to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and not only believe in him, but follow his commandments and his statutes. That's a hard thing to do. But with the faith of God in you, we can all do that to see her face to face. So I want to say, and I have to run back. Must excuse me, because I got to run back to Staples to the for the sinners. But I know Claire will understand that she's very strong. I but I just want us to remember that Miss Claire and others laid the foundation for where we are today and where we will be tomorrow. Let us always hold that in our hearts. Let us always remember that when we do these things, we do these in remembrance of people like Kurt, 
and we support the party when we when we, when we just just support the party not our country through the PLP. Just remember we doing it from this current. And now may God continue to bless the family. May he continue to bless all of us and keep us safe. And may current rise again in glory. Thank you. younger than her. 
she treated me as a son. And I somehow, I guess I always wanted to be younger. <laughs> so I allowed her to treat me as a son, as opposed to saying you and my set. Uh, but there came a time when I used to tell her, you got daughters in my set. <laughs> and I believe, as God would have it, each one of her children got a job from the new member of parliament for Senegal and then Minister of Health and National Insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I went beyond that and each one of her sister's children, Doreen, got a job from the new Minister of Health, new member of parliament. And Khan stayed with me throughout life, her aspirations for her home, her movements into her home, all of those things. She was there for me. Out and beyond me, she doubled and tripled down even when she left Senator as a PLD. Yeah. I just asked Holly, Holly remind me about Henrietta, because I knew Henrietta well, and Henrietta was connected to Solid and Pinling, and I was through Pinling connected to Henrietta, but Pinling was leader, because Henrietta was one of the giants in Rock Sound, who stayed in Rock Sound, and she was her sister. And, and, and we knew her well, and, and, and when you think about it, they were so strong. So purposeful and so enriching in their understanding of why they were PLP and why they were supporting the PLP. And they were able to be so strong in their communication with their children that they were able to, by and large, have their children understand. And their children very easily made the transition from youthful people to adult supporters of the PLP. And so God is good. And Kern was very, very strong, very, very strong for the progressive political party. As she got older, I got older. Maxine, who's sitting here, um, you know, I would have given Maxine a shot. You could see how she got, right? <laughs> but Kern had made me by then a son. So I have to be a big brother to Maxine. Terry, Jimmy, the Jimmy is. Uh -huh. That's how you <laughs> they, were, they were kids, okay? And their mother was a leader. And so when you look to people like the Clifford, the Harlem, the they needed people like the family of Saturn who allowed them to stand on their shoulders, who never ever had any kind of doubt as to who they were supporting and why they were supporting. Mm -hmm. Who always made me feel as a part of her family. And that's why she was just so extraordinarily close to me. Yeah. We have other speakers and I want to be able to say that the it's so difficult for a political organization to reward people who have virtually given of their lives to the party. Oftentimes you say, well, we're going to give you the highest honor we have, the stalwart counselor of the <laughs> But they are so deserving of more. And, but when you come into this hall, and you see the level of loyalty and the extraordinary commitment, fierce commitment to the survival of the PLP, then you perhaps have a deeper understanding that people like her believed in the PLP so much that those of us who are leaders in the PLP were just a part of this picture that they had of where they should fit in. And by that I mean that whether we were there or we were not there, they had a philosophical commitment to the meaning of the Progressive Liberal Party. The Progressive Liberal Party was formed on the basis of that book that section of the book of Matthew, what you do for the least of my brethren. 
the genesis of the PLP was we have to fix up those who are underprivileged, those who are dispossessed, those who need more. And that is the job that is never ending. Kern understood that. Doreen understood that. Henriette understood that. Those were the members of that family that I knew personally. Their children understand that. Maxine told me, he said, Roy, you put me on a job. I, you, you gave me a job of tourism. You got me a job of tourism, but I decided to take the job at the casino that you offered me. <laughs> and I've been there for 34 years. 40 years next year. You see? I mean, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Okay? And she would love me as much as I love her right now. And I see her a long time. <laughs> and that, that's what that was the third thing that we do for us. Right, Jimmy? All right. So, I'm grateful that Progressive Liberal Army continued to allow me the opportunity to be present on occasions such as this. For me to express my gratitude for someone who has given much to me spent of their own resources for the party I led to assist me in the furtherance of my leadership and the necessary progress that the Progressive Liberal Party had to make. And so I want to be able to join all who would be thanking you and saying that she was a breath of fresh air from Roxanne. <coughs> We've had our struggles with Oxford. She was a breath of fresh air from Oxford. I repeat a verse from the book of Psalms that I would be remiss if I didn't repeat it. And people, some of the counties in Israel are used to me repeating it. And I repeat it because it is important for us to always remember we share a common destiny with our departed sister. And that what we have in common is that we too will die, and that we too will, by the grace of God, be spoken of in the way we're speaking of this past warrior. The world speaks to the certainty of our passing, the unpredictability of it, but the finality of it. As for a man, his days are as grass. As a flower in the field, he flourishes. For the wind passes over, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. So for your family, mommy is gone. For the rest of the world party, our beloved sovereign counselor is gone. And the verse speaks to her presence on this earth being extinguished. I would just know that the chairman will invite you. Um, who's your mommy? That's your daddy? Boy, you guys are looking for her. Terry don't have no time here. Yeah, yeah Terry got Your mom would look like you when I first made her. <laughs> okay, so, but I, I can say that to them, you know. They're, they're, like, they're like my sisters, now they're my nieces. Okay? And so, so welcome, niece. Yeah. But I didn't want it to end with that was, but with the invitation that you have to protect her memory and her legacy, her commitment, with ensuring that one or the other or a number of you become as committed and as loyal to our party. Because we can only exist, and we can only survive, and we can only grow if we have your support and your participation. <coughs> and so that I wanted to do as a former leader, notwithstanding the chairman coming to speak, I invite you to recognize 
but this is something that couldn't love herself. May she rest in peace. I'm scared. If I had a hammer, someone said, I'm hammer in the morning, I'm hammer in the evening. I'll next be the hazard. And she been hammering in the morning and hammering at noon day. Hammering when the sun goes down and she keeps a hammering. She keeps a hammering and we give God thanks. Well, of course, how can we expect more when that's the food from the room? Let's put our hands together for our ministry. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I want to thank our trustee who has um, presided over these proceedings and plus Ben and gave us some music in the back and then came uh -huh. back up here. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for your versatility and your commitment. I wish to recognize our former leader. We just heard from former Prime Minister Perry Christie, Chairman, Progressive Party, Fred Mitchell, Honorable, my parliamentary colleagues, my cabinet colleagues and parliamentary colleagues, Starwood councillors, and the Sands family. I, just sitting there listening, I was noting that I'm hearing like a, a relay because I, I, have a, I have my own experience with Kern, but we started with an earlier route, which is Perry Christie, in the Centerville constituency and the rest is history. I believe it probably even goes beyond that with the matriarch or patriarch of those families as to how we find ourselves in the midst of these great warriors. I met Kern when I was the candidate in um, 2000, 2001, in what was then the Holy Cross constituency, the Macfesno, because their house was the headquarters, they know. And I, um, Charles Carter really took me through and he, he pointed to me who, you know, who I should connect with. Kern was one of them. Yes. And I can tell you, I was, but I was moved. I was moved at the last minute to enlist them, just before the general elections of 2002. But by the time I was moved, I spent about a year on the ground in Holy Cross. By the time I left, I had found not just someone who held my hand because I'd been involved in politics before with my father, asking people to support him. But I never asked no one to support me. And I and it was awkward and uncomfortable. Curran held my hand, took me through. So when I left and was moved to to Anderson, I had she wasn't no supporter and after that. I had met and left behind, figuratively, a friend. A friend. And I can tell you that relationship continued uninterrupted, uninterrupted. And I, I've been in council meetings with Kern, and I, I have sort of a little different um, with reflection on her because she used to sit around the middle. She was outspoken, strong, yes. courageous. Yes. Trust me, room full, and you know Kern in the room. Yes. You knew she was in the room, and so. You know, that's what I, that's my, my sense of her. That was my sense of her. She was an outspoken woman. She was strong. She was strong. And the one thing I, I remember, I know about her, and this is a word that's just a word, but if you could do it, if you could, if you could encounter it, you have met value beyond worth. She was loyal. She was loyal. And I'm telling you that she was loyal through thick and thin. When I went into Holy Cross, we were in opposition for 10 years. She was working in the hospital under you know, the jurisdiction of a previous re of that governing regime. And she continued to be loyal to our cause. Yeah, right. yeah. She was loyal to me also. And you know, I called her around the time of the last um, convention and she was not feeling well. And you know, I had a sense of something after having had a conversation with her. She came out, she, she wasn't, I think there was a death in the family just before that. And she was, her spirits were down. But she came out, and this, this is just the woman we're talking about. She came out anyhow on the convention floor. 
But I, 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 I've been reflecting on this. I was just talking to Mr. Bolag's daughter. I don't know if she's here. Um, he was, he's an elderly, he was an elderly man in Angleston. And he was in his 80s, old man. You know, we, and we have a tendency in our culture to see older persons in a particular way. And I was at an outdoor um, dining experience by Urban Renewal. This was for 10, 15 years ago. And that old man, who was from Anderson, picked up a harmonica. And I could not believe my ears. It was such an eye-opening experience because what it unveiled was the depth of that aging human, which was rich and powerful and strong. I make that, I, I, I tell that little story because we have to, as a political organization, be, see how we can continue to give the, 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 the weight to those people who, in their youth and in their strength, put themselves on the line for this organization. Yes. And as they age and sort of begin to fade, we have to find within ourselves, culturally as a political organization, how we continue to embrace that person and, 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 and to reach an appreciation, the full depth of who that person is, despite yes. Yes. the weak knees and the, the slowing down. Yeah. We have to find a way to do that. That's it. Kern was an incredible woman. I truly loved her. And I loved her because of all the things I have said about her as a person. Her strength, her courage, her commitment, her loyalty to this organization. And they asked me outside, Zedness asked me, said, you know, we can't wait, it would stay long. What would you say about her? And I, I said, well, you know, Kern set a standard. She set a standard. And that standard really is for all others, but it's also for the organization to reflect on. And she, um, I, I think I heard Minky saying she was one of those early stalwart counselors, because you know, they have lots now, but in the early days, it was a lot more um, rare. And she was in that rare group. And I was just telling the, prime, the former prime minister that an opportunity, she was given an opportunity, and the door, she flung the door wide open and was able to, to really substantially advance her life. I'm very grateful for the life and service of Kernita Sands. I actually thought she was a nurse all along. I, didn't, I, I thought Kern was a nurse for the longest because she brought that to the table. She was an incredible Bahamian woman. And I am grateful to her because she and I know some things. We know some things. And I am just very grateful because even in her weakened circumstances, she would step up to the plate. Step up to the plate. So I want to say to her family, the Sands clan, I see Holly, I, I know that's her auntie, that you have an incredible, beautiful legacy in this lady. And as a political organization, I am proud and privileged to know that this is the quality of womanhood this yes. organization is yes. associated with. Yes. Yes. She, she came tough. She came tough. But on the other hand, she was kind and compassionate and all those things. But when it came to the substance of her presence on, in, in our political force, she was all of those things. Strong, loyal, courageous, and principled because she understood what the ideals of this party was about. I can sit down right now, but she understood. She understood what this party represents. See, we got plenty of people in, around and we got plenty of members, but she understood. She understood and she put herself on the line and she walked with me in Holy Cross while we were in opposition and she was working for government. And she walked with me door to door to door to door to door.
And so I say to her family, you have a beautiful legacy in her life. We are proud to count her as our own in this organization. And I, I feel privileged to have been associated, more than privileged, I am grateful for her role in my life. May your soul rest in peace. Thank you so much, uh, Minister. The next song we're going to sing, it's all right now. And indeed, you know, it's all right. Don't mind what you hear on the other. But God means the party is as strong today or stronger than it was when we have first begun. It can't be all right when you have, you know, the scripture says, and I'm not thinking about it in terms of age, but it says, old man, I call you because you know the way. And we have in the person, could you imagine it, a minister, Campbell, young man, <coughs> I call you because you're strong. The old man knows the GPS from Nassau or from Miami to Chicago, uh, but the young man got to navigate it. So, we give God thanks for that within our midst right here. Amen. Say, Father and Son, Amen. it got to be all right. Amen. It is all right. Let's just sing one verse of, uh, and sing the chorus twice, as, as uh, I'm like in the Baptist church says, and the next voice. <laughs> so, we don't have to pump him up, you know, because that is to, to give that the minister, get him some pump. You know, put some fire in it, you know. But our next speaker, after we will have some, always has five. You know, silly baby, when I get to you, like, I see what I'm saying. This is your chairman. Yes. There comes. Consistent, knowledgeable, loyal. Uh, well, I'll sign on long time. His eyes are smart to me and my uncle, so we're going to be back. But uh, let's sing that song and I'll do. Oh, 
That's past history. It's gone. Blinding speed. We're now starting to count down to the next election. Sadly, she won't be here with us in, 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 in the physical sense. But she's left his legacy. Look at her head. She's there. Uh, Holly. Uh, she just told me that that's, that, uh, that's her aunt. Didn't know that. But that's a legacy because I can tell you there's a uh, few people more fiery than Holly. <laughs> so, we know what we have coming behind us. So it's a great, great legacy. And it's a wonderful tradition of the Progressive River Party to do this for those of uh, our supporters who have made the contribution to keep us going, to keep us going. And, and I'm always moved by the fact that when someone passes, the family calls and say, can we lay out our mother? Powerful decisions for this country have been made in this hall, in this hall. And they help to make those decisions. And, they, and by helping to make those decisions, they made the Commonwealth of the Bahamas a better country. So I want to add my thanks. I know the Prime Minister is unable to be here today, but I'm sure he's here today in spirit. And on behalf of us all, you've heard Mrs. Hannah Martin, you've heard the former Prime Minister, and I'd like to back up everything that they've said. I agree with everything they've said on behalf of a grateful party, on behalf of the entire leadership, on behalf of our team. I want to say thank you, to wish her Godspeed on her way for being there on that night we lost and said, say, it's going to be all right, and let's keep going. Amen. So we end with PLP.